Well, this year has definitely not been the best we've ever had. It has tried our strength, our courage, our patience. We've had to give it our everything, expecting nothing in return but hope for better times. And yet, let's not forget the good things 2020 has brought. Despite not being able to see our friends and sometimes even our families in person, we've managed to stay in touch. And by keeping our distance, we've shown how much we care about our loved ones. It's been hard to see our dear faces on cold screens, but all the sweeter the reunion will be after this is all in the past. We've had to find other ways to support those who need it, and we've found them. We've seen the grateful smiles of our grandparents when they received the flowers, food, and gifts we sent them. We've shared the peaceful joy of watching movies together with our loved ones, even when separated. We've given to the world what we do best, sharing our skills and secrets of our trades online, asking for nothing in return. In a sense, this year has united us more than ever. We've been grateful to those who have been saving lives all this time and showing our gratitude in many different ways. This difficult period has made us slow down and look at our lives from a different angle. Always being on the run, scaling ladders to new achievements, we might have missed important things that lie so very close. And now, we finally awakened from this hectic race and opened our eyes. For many of us, comfy home clothes and even PJs have become a second skin. We've been working, walking around, and sleeping all in the same old things. Even those who have to stay public are guilty of that. And you can't blame them. And just stop to think of this. We've never ceased working. We're still being useful, still finding ways to bring new ideas and improve old ones. We've shifted everything we could to the online mode. And what we couldn't? We've made safe for everyone involved. We've shown unprecedented care for each other, even for those we don't know and might never meet again. And deep inside, we know we would have done so even without being told to, just because we're human and caring is in our nature. All in all, no, this hasn't been the best year ever, granted. But we've still been smiling, still had our moments of glory and peace, and still done what we could to help each other. This year has made us closer than ever, made us remember what compassion is and why we need each other so much. We've remembered how good it feels to hug someone we love, what a joy it is to see your friends and family in person, what a marvelous place our planet is. We've all remembered how much we appreciate the wind in our hair, the sunrises and sunsets, the soft rustling of ocean waves, and the chirping of birds in the trees. We've all learned how much we care for those we love. And we've all realized how much we value our freedom. We've shown that we can persevere. And whatever life has to throw at us, we will stand as one and bravely embrace it. Let's say goodbye to this difficult year full of revelations and greet the new one with our heads held high. So get out there and make it a happy new year.